Good morning, Sycamore Junior High School. Today is Thursday, February 15th. Welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Alex. Hello. Hello, I'm Kara. We're so excited to be here on the daily video announcements. Now, let's please stand, place our hands over our hearts, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. National Day! Today is National Single Awareness Day. On February 15th, Singles Awareness Day reminds us that there's nothing wrong with being single. In fact, the day after Valentine's Day points out all the ways that sing singledom benefits our communities and more. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to all those celebrating today, including Caden CV, Adelaide U, and Marlo H. Have a great day celebrating your awesome day. Now over to our clubs and activities announcements. Let's celebrate our two school resource officers, our SROs in our building this year. Retired Officer Adi and Officer Golicki both have worked to ensure our building is a safe place for students and staff and also to educate us all in being more prepared in the event of an emergency. They have gone above and beyond with all they have helped us with. Thank you so much, Officer Adi and Officer Gilkey, for all you do. Hey, my name is Becky Taylor. I'm the custodial supervisor here at Sycamore Junior High. We just wanted to thank the SROs that support our district every day. We are so appreciative that they're here. They walk the building to make sure that the building is safe on a daily basis. They make sure all doors are locked. If we have any issues in the building, they, they deal with students in a very timely manner. Um, but here at the junior high, we have such great kids. There's not much of that needed anyway. So happy National SRO Day. We appreciate you. So thanks so much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Hi, Officer Gilkey. It's Mr. James. We just want to say thank you so much uh, for everything that you do for our building and keeping us safe. We very much appreciate it. Thank you to Officer Gilkey for helping to keep our students and community safe, um, for keeping our school a wonderful place to be. Yeah, thank you very much. We really appreciate your work. Thank you, Officer Gilkey and Officer Audie, for keeping us safe. Thank, Thank you, so you Officer Adi and Officer Guilty. Partners Club will be having our February meeting next Wednesday on the 21st from 3.15 to 4.15. As always, there will be a delicious snack there, and we are excited to see you there. our clubs and activities. Any seventh grader interested in learning more about eighth grade art options can come to an informational meeting tomorrow, Friday, February 16th in Mrs. Spielman's art room, 2155. Anyone can take art in eighth grade, even if you did not take art in art seven. There are two eighth grade art classes available, art eight and foundations of art. Please come to the meeting and find out which class is best for you. Stop by Mrs. Spielman's Art Room 2155 to pick up a flex pad. If you can't attend the meeting, talk to Ms. Spielman, Ms. Sidrus, or Ms. Harry. See you on Friday, February 16th during flex. 
D and D club meets once a week on Thursday. That's that's today. So if you plan to join, make sure you make arrangements to stay after school in the cafeteria today, from 3:15 to 4:45 p.m. Miss Cackley runs the club, but see Miss Meyer if you have any questions. Now a special message from our counselors. Hello everyone, Mr. Brenner here to talk about scheduling news for both 7th and 8th grade students. Last week your teacher shared with you your recommendations for your core classes next year. The next step in the scheduling process will be accessing our online scheduling system and selecting your remaining courses. The window to do this will be from February 17th through February 25th. So basically starting this weekend and then you'll have a week to do that. For 8th grade specifically, you will receive an email outlining the online scheduling process that will occur through schooling. So 8th graders specifically, it's schooling. So that's how you're going to start setting up your schedule for high school. <clears throat> Next Tuesday and Wednesday, you'll watch a video on how to build your schedule in school links. You can start over the weekend, but you will be given dedicated time during flex spell next week. Um, mostly on Tuesday, a few of you will actually do that on Wednesday. Uh, if you have any issues, your high school counselors will be meeting with you one-on-one -on -one during the week of February 26th. The high school counselors will be available during lunches as well, starting next Thursday the 22nd and Friday, Friday the 23rd, um, just to help answer any questions you might have with school links. All right, now for 7th graders, so this is different. You will not be using school links, but you will still be doing online scheduling in a different online scheduling portal. Um, in addition, all 7th graders will receive a letter in the mail with online scheduling instructions walking you through the process. So you'll have a username and password that's very unique to you, and it is all uh, case sensitive. So like if it's uppercase, you got to have uppercase. If it's, there's a period in there, you got to make sure you put in the period, for example. So you will get those this weekend and an email on Friday. Um, the junior high counselors will be meeting with all current 7th graders to confirm and verify those course selections after you guys have had the opportunity to put those in. Uh, we'll actually be meeting with you during language arts classes on the 26th and 27th of February. Uh, at that time, if anything looks incorrect, we can always update it for you. Uh, keep an eye on your email and for all the scheduling information that's coming your way. Have a great day, and if you have questions, reach out to your school counselor. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Brenner, and to our counselors. Be informed. Check your emails every day. Be responsible young adults and make this a great place for, to work for our future goals. Mark, Mark your, your calendars. calendars. February 19th, we do not have school in honor of President's Day. Planning ahead. March 2nd is Pancake Day. March 14th through the 16th is the Junior High Musical. March 15th is our A's Bash. Now on to our Character Awards. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here, and I am with a special guest, Mr. Foley. Uh, we'll be filling in for uh, Mr. Rodriguez this week as we do our character awards. Uh, we are filming this on Monday, so we want to give a big shout out to a couple of our teams. Uh, we will start with our seventh grade girls basketball team. They are GMC champs. Uh, they really uh, had a great run through the tournament, um, and uh, really their, their final game was, was not even close. So uh, they are a very gritty, hard-working group of girls, and a big congratulations to them. And uh, I think they're going to be on announcements, and it might even be today, because this typically goes out on Thursday. Uh, we also want to give a big shout out to the boys basketball team. Uh, they were also, this is the seventh grade team, they were also in the finals. Um, and uh, they had an 11 point halftime deficit to overcome, which they did. Uh, they had a slight lead at one point and actually did lose in overtime, but uh, they put together a tremendous effort. Um, it was extremely exciting. I would call it a classic game um, for sure. So. Hey, we have uh, winter sports behind us, and now we are starting to think about spring sports. So if you are interested in boys or girls lacrosse or track or softball, um, this is the time to make sure that you have a physical on file, that you have uh, gone into final forms and signed up so that you are getting the appropriate emails that go along with that. So that is all starting right now. So um, definitely uh, start thinking about getting those things taken care of. If you have no physical, you cannot participate in spring sports. 
Uh, let's get started with character awards. Let's do it. All right, let's so I'll go first. Um, actually, this young lady has two character awards this week, or at least two students wrote this person up. This goes to Faith Eastman, and uh, I'm just going to read one of them uh, because of time. It says, she is the first person I met uh, when I moved here. Uh, she wasn't like the others. So, Mr. Foley, I don't know if you, have you ever been to a new school? Or I, have. You ever, I have. And, and yep. let me ask you this because I, I think I know the answer. What grade were you in when you moved? So we moved uh, when I was in, in fifth grade. All right, so you probably remember this. Do you remember the first person that really became friendly with you when you moved in and you probably I, felt lost. I do. Yeah. I do. He was in my wedding actually. Oh, so <laughs> yeah. it became like became a really a lifelong close friend. friend. Yep. Yeah, I truly believe if you have somebody new that comes into your class and, and you got to imagine what it must be like to be new, you feel like you're on a complete island uh, of your own, you know of nothing of what's going on, you don't understand the schedules, uh, the locker is recess, I mean everything is new, but if you become friends or try to help that person on that first day they will never forget you it is um, such an ingrained such a, a stressful day for them that uh, when you come across and say hey let me help you out um, what can I do uh, they will remember you so um, faith uh, obviously that happened because uh, this person says um, she didn't look at me like I was an alien I think that's a, that's a great <laughs> that's way a great to word it, it. Uh, <laughs> when you are new you definitely feel like you are an alien so um, thank you, Faith, uh, whoever this person is. You definitely made their day uh, when they were new. I love hearing those stories. Uh, my character card is going out to Lorelai Brady. Congratulations to her. She was one of my first semester students. And this one says, uh, you always have a smile. You always put a smile on everyone's face. In the beginning of the school year, I was afraid I would be lonely, but you walked up to me and asked if I wanted to sit with you. And I'm so grateful for our friendship. Just another one of those stories, a kind gesture, and it really goes longer way than I think most people think. Yeah, I would say these, uh, both of these write-ups are very similar. Right. Yeah, just right. kind of going out of your way to make somebody feel welcome, to make them feel like they belong. Hey, Mr. Rodriguez and I will be in NARAD and Purcell this week um, because, hey, we go in the classrooms on Thursdays, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Wow! Great work, students. And those are some awesome acts of kindness. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day, follow PBI expectations, and, and go away! Thanks, crew. Be the best extraordinary person that you can be, Sycamore. Follow our PBIS expectations every day. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go, go Waves!